Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Here we're just into September, which is now officially autumn. Seasons are changing um, and that means some new crafting materials, um, some new furniture in the seasonal items, of which I've already found quite a few things. Here's what I've got so far, a few days into autumn. So the main crafting ingredients thus far are pankos and acorns which you get from furiously shaking trees over and over and over again until they eventually drop some. Uh, later on we'll be able to get uh, mushrooms and things like that. Um, I should mention I'm obviously in the northern hemisphere. If you're in the southern hemisphere it's kind of just turning to spring so you're going to be getting all of the cherry blossom stuff soon which is interesting that's kind of where the northern hemisphere started so it's it's all coming full circle well half circle technically but um am i gonna get any acorns from this tree this is the real question i'm not entirely sure if there's any limits to acorns and pine cones but i usually when i get one i'll move on to a different tree although i think i literally just got all tree branches from this tree which is not ideal but hey ho did I get an acorn? <laughs> no, of course not. That'd be far too easy. Oh well, that's okay. So, um, if you bear with me here, <laughs> Nana, I mean, I guess she's sitting at the riverside, but she's under a tree, but she's facing a bush. <laughs> I'm not sure why the game thinks this is good placement, but I, I guess that's kind of a nice spot. Oh, she's got all self-conscious now. She's walking away. How are you, Nana? So good to be out here in the fresh air. Yeah, it's quite a nice evening, actually. We might have Celeste tonight. I'm not sure. Um, this might be a weird question to be asking you, but I'm curious. Do you know what kind of movies Roxy likes? Um, no, because she's a cat. I don't really feel like she has much taste in film. But, um... Yeah, you try asking her. See what kind of answer you get. <laughs> so, um, I do need to do a little bit of chores today. So, it includes giving gifts to my villagers whom I don't have photos of yet. One of those is Frobert here. How's it going, bud? Yeah, my shirt is pretty nice, huh? A samurai helmet? Okay. <laughs> I trust your fashion sense, Robert. Sure. Um, thank you. So actually something I did recently was get rid of almost the entirety of my collection of clothes and I've planned out um, outfits and these are all of the clothes I have now because my storage was getting too full so I had to say goodbye to all of my pretty outfits which is kind of a shame so I don't have that many dress up options for the time being. What I need to do right now is craft some things to give to my villager friends. Usually what I go for um, is the iron wall lamp, so I need to go grab some clay. I don't know if I've hit all my rocks. Whoa! <laughs> the items are popping in. Welcome to the lag zone. Um, really laggy over here walking up to uh, this part of town. Oh, that's gonna fall in the river, huh? Yeah. Not quite. Maybe it'll be a recipe. No, it's a chef's outfit. Let me go see if I've hit my rocks. I think I hit one today because I had a Nook Miles goal for it, so we'll just check. If not, I have a ridiculous amount of clay in storage, so we'll do that. <laughs> one bug, two fish, and ten diving creatures left. Yeah, I've not um caught all of the bugs for September yet, because I'm missing two. So I think there's one bug that I'm... I'm missing. Um, definitely need to check my my lists there. I don't think we got any clay from that rock by the way. <laughs> Which is usually a good thing. Usually you're like, give me the iron nuggets and now it's like, hold on. But yeah, I need to make a bunch of lamps to give to my villager friends because they don't display wall items and I don't want to mess up their house by giving them lots of furniture. Um, that they're gonna place randomly. I like to try and keep their houses 
as original as possible with a couple of exceptions. If there's like a really cool item, I'll give them that, especially if it's their birthday. But I try and keep things um, as natural as possible. So I've done a little bit of work on my island. So August was kind of a weird month for me in Animal Crossing because I was essentially playing once a week. I kind of um, got a little bit burnt out and was playing once a week and I was playing every Sunday because of all the firework festivals. But over the past like week or two, I've been playing every day and it sort of had like a, a second wind almost. So I'm actually enjoying the game um, daily playing again. So I've done a little bit of decorating of my island. There are some projects that I kind of had half finished, so I've been trying to finish things up as much as possible. So we'll, we'll take a little look around um, once I get my, my daily chores under the under my belt here. Um, let me go make some beautiful lamps. Lamps for everyone. I think I have... Do I have five villagers I need photos of? I'm gonna need more clay. I need to get photos from Robert, Tammy, um, Chester, Cookie, and Sid. So that's five. Gosh. So I can't let any of them move out. Look at my nice dumping ground for things <laughs> right in front of my house. Beautiful. Um, I can't get rid of any of them until I've got photos. So we'll be giving them gifts. Let me grab some clay and some old iron in case I need it. So I've not done much with my house. Uh, that's still kind of one of those things that I'm like, oh, I'll work on it later. Um, I have ideas. I have ideas for Roxy's house as well. But Roxy's house is currently a storage space for DIY recipes and nonsense that I don't want to get rid of but I should probably get rid of because I don't need them. I just, I like to hoard items like, oh, let me show you my storage. So I was, when I was playing for all of the um, firework festivals, I gave Red a crap ton of money because I wanted all these cool things, right? Turns out all of these items are available to buy in Nookling Junction. <laughs> so you can now buy those. Um, I spent a stupid amount of time giving my money to Red during the fireworks festival, so that was nice. Um, but hey, I guess it's good for everyone else that you can buy balloons and stuff. Marshall's out here. There's a bucket. Are you? Oh. He has a sparkler. I didn't know that... I guess the bucket's for safety in case he sets himself on fire, which would be a terrible thing to happen. <laughs> He's got a sparkler! Oh, that's adorable. Um, I think I got a... a thing, yes. Talk to your neighbours. I did it. You want one of the crafting tables? I can do that. Um, shoot, what's that even called? Uh, this guy? Yeah, I can make one of those. I'll, I'll mail it to you. <laughs> Look at him go, he has like a million sparklers. Robert, my man. Hello. I am very hyped to give you a special handmade gift of an iron wall lamp. Enjoy. Whoa. Yeah, you hype? Heck yeah. Can you give me your photo? No. <laughs> no, you cannot. Alright, well. One day I'll get it from you, Robert. One day. Man, the sky is really clear. I wonder if Celeste is here or we're gonna get any shooting stars. Something that's been really evading me to no end. I seem to never get shooting stars or never find Celeste. I really need to input my details um, 
I know there's a site where you can put in your weather and it tells you like exactly when shooting stars are going to happen. I should really do that because it would save me a lot of time. Usually she hangs out near the beach, so I'll just have a quick check. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, it's an eel. I was like, that fish is huge, but it's an eel. I actually have, um, I have the eel already. What was the new eel? It was the moray eel. Helps if you look at fish and not bugs. <laughs> this guy. I've already got my fair share of eels, so we're good for now. Alright, I'm gonna go do my deliveries. So we saw Robert. Tammy's not at home. Um, here's Lily. We don't need to give her a gift. We have her photo, but we'll say hi anyway. Hello. How's it going? You like your bench? Good. Yeah. Look at all these crickets. Yeah, I, I revamped some areas. We'll 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 take a we'll have a chat about my island in a bit. I need to just find all these silly animals. <laughs> How dare they walk around and have lives when I need to give them lamps? How dare they? Alright, I'm gonna take a loop down here. And we'll go and check the other beaches for aminals. Hello aminals? Anyone here? Well, here's Cookie. Don't sit down! Oh honey, I need you to stand up so I can give you a thing. Look at her little paws. Look at her little paws. She's so cute. Man, I love sitting as well. <laughs> cookie? Cookie? Stand. C cookie? Cookie stand. Cookie? <laughs> cookie fetch. Cookie- Cookie! Please. Is there like a tr- Oh! Okay. <laughs> we got her. <laughs> I was gonna say, is there a trick to getting them to stand up, but we did it. Yeah, I'm giving you a thing. Haven't you always wanted an iron wall lamp? This is for you. It is indeed, honey. Enjoy. What are you gonna give me? A monochromatic dotted wall. I don't know if I have that. I have a few of the wallpapers that have the dots. I don't think I have that one yet, so that's nice. Yeah, happy home academy. I've kind of not really been changing my house, so it's been the same for about a month now, I think. But I got all the rewards, so I'm obviously a, a pro decorator. Um, let me hop around here. Oh look, Dizzy's here. Oh, Dizzy, if you want to move, that would actually be really good. Oh hey, how's it going? Oh no. Oh no, he has a nickname. Okay. What is it? <laughs> Professor Pie? Um no honey, I don't I don't think that really suits me. <laughs> you can just call me Nicola. Man, I don't personally like to go for nicknames um in Animal Crossing, but I must admit they are more creative than they were in previous games. Yeah, you can keep you can keep that going, honey. <laughs> you got it. Ugh, all right, thanks, Dizzy. <laughs> I do have Dizzy's photo, and as much as I love him with all of my heart, um, I'll have to invite him back to my town later, because I am on photo quest, which is basically me inviting every animal I can and getting their photo at some point. Because let's face it, we've got um, a few years of this game to go, so I may as well set myself a ridiculous challenge like collecting all of the animal pictures. Um, so we still need to find Chester who is home, Sid and Tammy. Tammy's wandering around, she might be in one of the stores, so we'll check the stores. Oh hey, Chester's crafting. Oh, sorry. I. <laughs> Give your light back so you can see what you're doing. You're doing stuff? What are you doing? An orange wall-mounted clock. I think I have that one. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Doesn't everyone? 
Well, thank you anyway, I will take it to add to my ridiculously large collection of DIY recipes. I really need to give these away somehow. We'll figure it out. Hey, guess what, Chester? <laughs> you get to be a fine, proud owner of this iron wall lamp. Are you excited? Are you excited enough to give me your photo? No, <laughs> not today. I'm pretty sure I have everyone up to the point of friendship level where they can give me their picture, but they've just not given me their picture. It's not super common, so it just takes time. Now, Sid isn't home, so he's going to be another tough one to find, probably. Let me run up here. Nobody's at the campsite today, I don't think. No. Well, hopefully we'll run into these two when we're out and about. Um, I will check the stores just to see if they are doing some shopping. Oh, there is a big fish in the river there. Oh, I probably should have caught that. Oh well. I saw it too late. I'd already pressed the button to enter the store. Hi. Nobody's in here. Goodbye. I don't think there's been a new piece of clothing in Able Sisters for me for weeks. Hopefully some more stuff will come in now that it's autumn. There's Nana doing some reading. Oh, look at this! Oh, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Synchronized sparklers. Oh, they're going again. <laughs> oh, that's so pure. I love it. All right, so... Look at this! It's all pumpkin and autumn -y themed. So cute. So cute. I love the little details. The little changes. And nobody's in here either, okay. Well, Sid and Tammy are obviously somewhere having some evil meeting where they're plotting some kind of scheme. Unless they're over at Whitney's house, because I did see that Whitney was home. You know what? I'm gonna go check Whitney's house, because I bet one of them's in there. <laughs> Hiding. They know that I need to see them and they're like, well, I'm not gonna make it easy for you. So we'll check Whitney's house and then we'll have like a, a look around the island. That's kind of a big fish. Possibly. Ooh, first bite. Hey, I need more of you. Soft shell turtle. It's more sensitive than the other turtles. <laughs> I need some more of them so I can make a model at some point. This is good. Very, very good. Whitney, it's just you. Interesting. You just having a sandwich? Man, looks like a good sandwich. How are you doing, Whitney? Yeah, I checked my score. It was fine. Man, Whitney's house is so chill. She's someone else that I can have move out now because I have her photo. Eventually invite her back unless I decide another snooty villager is worth my time. I do like Whitney a lot though. I do like her a lot. Well, let me go start at the house, shall we? Here, I can add this to my pile of DIYs. That's fine. So I'm collecting some flowers so we can ignore these flowers, but um, over here, oh, Cookie. Cookie's doing some yoga. She's doing great. So I don't think anybody's actually moved out since um, in a while, because like I said, I've not really been playing consistently enough to have animals be like, oh, hey, you want to move out? And if anyone's um, asked to move out, they've been animals that I don't want to leave yet because I don't have their photo. So we're still kind of rocking the same crew. So we have Cookie and Nana's house over here. They have like this kind of beachy resort theme going on down here. Most of this is still kind of work in progress, but it's good enough for now. That's kind of where, I at, where I'm at with this stuff. Cookie? I really like that plant, huh? Of course, I've given Cookie a nice pet bed because <laughs> of course I have. 
I'm yet to get a photo of her sitting in it. I come over here and I see her and she's doing all of her stuff. She never sits in this bed and I desperately want her to, to get a photo, but it hasn't happened yet. But soon, it will happen soon. For right now, she's just doing her yoga. And also my new favorite thing to do are these little figure eight patterns in the ground. So you'll be seeing quite a few of those around my island um, as we take a look. So bear with me. <laughs> still, I, I feel like I've made good progress, but things still aren't perfect. But I don't know if they'll ever be perfect, to be completely honest. So we'll see how it goes. Um, anyways, carry on up here. Dizzy, I don't know where you got that shirt from. I mean, it doesn't not suit you. But equally, I'm not a fan. I feel like Dizzy has to wear a t-shirt at all times. I feel like he's a t-shirt kind of guy. Bloop. I don't know what sharks I'm missing. I think I need one more regular shark. I mean, that's not a shark at all, so... <laughs> Good job, game. Good job. So yes, Cookie and Nana. Um, still rocking it down there. I've still got this area for where I put all my spare lily of the valley and this pond here is actually a functional pond so I can catch pond fish in it because before I really only had the one pond and that was getting kind of annoying for catching stuff so there is another pond now which is good and that kind of is an extension of Marshall and Whitney's garden. One of my um, complaints about this game is that there's not very much in the way of turquoise furniture, so it's really hard to kind of get furniture to match with either my house, which is turquoise, or, you know, Whitney's house. Um, there's not a huge amount of light blue slash turquoise aqua furniture. So most of this theme is kind of white. Got a nice cup of coffee here, of course, for um, these two sophisticated animals. You know, they're just here being all sophisticated and talking about fashion and acting and all of that stuff, so they hang out here. They're fine. Um, over here is the little construction-y area for where all my fossils are. This is just lily storage because I have an abundance of lilies and I still need to find homes for everything, so that's just lily storage. Eventually this will be a nice place where you can like chill out. Maybe like a sort of I might do some waterfalls and make it all gardeny. I'm not sure, but that's like a to be determined area. Up here is probably the biggest change. So up here is where um, Chester and Sid are currently residing. So we've gone for this sort of cherry blossom slash zen theme. Chester, of course, has a panda because he's a panda bear and he's got all of this kind of stuff. A lot of this furniture was left over from when I had Cyrano in my town. He'll be coming back eventually. But for right now, um, Sid and Chester have kind of split his decorative theme in between them. And I managed to get a nice bridge here, which I like. Um, I need to figure out some flowers and stuff to put up on that hill. But here is a bridge which is simply de decorative. I don't think I can even get fish spawning in this little bit here. So it's, it's purely an indulging bridge of decorativeness rather than being functional. So Sid is not home, which is terribly sad. But um, yeah, here's the rest of his stuff. We have two snapping turtles playing Go because of course. And oh, Sid, hi. How are you, bud? How's it going? I was just speaking about you. I need to give you a thing. Rockin' is just fine. That is exactly what I want you to say. Um, no, you're good with rockin'. Yes, 100% sure. Man, I do like Sid a lot. He's the first of the eight new villagers that I was able to find. And I wasn't- I thought his design was fine. Um, but I actually really like him. I like that his hobby is music, so he sings a lot. And he has this incredibly deep voice that is so funny. I just think it's great. Um, I have something for you, Sid. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Um, I have... I've just sneezed on it. A wall lamp. 
Here you go. <laughs> this is for you. Enjoy. I'm not sure if he's in the high enough friendship bracket to give me... <gasps> it happened! I didn't know if he was high enough level! Oh man! Sid! Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy! There he is! Look at him! Oh look! This is a photo of Sid, huh? There's a message written in small letters on the back of the photograph. Born June 9th, Gemini. Favourite saying is, do what you want, but do it loud. Oh, that makes me so happy. He's actually my newest villager, so it just shows how stubborn the rest of them have been in giving me their pictures. Oh, that means you can move out now. Oh, man. So if Sid asks me to move, asks me if he can move out, I'm gonna say yeah, and that's gonna be kind of a sad one. I've really enjoyed his company, but I'll be sure to post when he's moving out because I imagine he's quite a sought-after villager with him not having an amiibo card. So if anyone wants Sid, um, hook me up, and maybe the timing will be right. Man, what a guy! Oh, I'm so happy I got a photo. <laughs> Now I just need to find Tammy. Of course it's Tammy. Tammy the troublemaker. Every single time. So, um, yes, back to the, the island tour. I've got this little space here. Really don't know what I'm going to do with it. Possibly another pond? When in doubt, make a pond. Might be a pond. So we'll figure this out because I don't really know how to connect or to split this part. It's kind of this weird shape, because this is Sid's garden, right? And then kind of past here it's like, is this his garden? Not really. So, we'll see. We'll see um, what we decide. Man, I'm so happy that I have his photo. <laughs> it's just absolutely made my day. That's really great. Hey Joshua, how's it going? I just got Sid's photo, having been like, Oh, I wonder if I'm friendly enough with him to get his photo when he gave me his photo. He's so cool. I should put it in front of his house. Because he's here, right? So, um, I should put it in front of his door plate. Because it's like just a better door plate, right? <laughs> there we go. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't mean to... There we go. Oh man. That's so cool. I love his house aesthetic as well. It looks really nice. All right, cool. Um, on with the tour. So this is like my weird sort of plaza 2.0 and I want to make this a bandstand area, but I don't know how to make it look good and I feel like I don't have enough space for this ridiculous amount of instruments, but th I'll make it work. I don't know how yet. But it's playing Animal City, because of course it is. <laughs> oh, perfect! Wow! What a beautiful... <laughs> Why do all the instruments match the music? Oh wait, I'm playing it from the wrong side. Hold on. I mean, the saxophone sounds kind of good with it. Wolfgang's not here at the moment, no. Um, he... He was replaced by... Sid. Because I had a... I wanted to get a cranky villager and just have the one. Um, so he, re he was replaced by Sid, I think. So no, Wolfgang is not currently here. But I don't have his photo, so he'll be back at some point. Um, then I'll grab his picture. I still think Cyrano's my my top cranky at the moment. Cause like there's Apollo too. Oh, I really like the cranky villagers actually in in New Horizons. I think they're good. So campsite area, nobody's here today. But um, again, it's this figure eight thing. It's like my new favorite thing to do. I really like it. Um, so let's 
run back down here. Yeah, this this music area, I want it to work. It's not quite working right now, but it, it will work at some point in the future. <laughs> How could I? Man, there's a lot of cranky villagers. I gotta collect all the photos, you know? There's so many. I had him in a in New Leaf, so he's taken a bit of a break from me. <laughs> um, he deserves it. He's been with me in quite a few of my towns, so he, he deserves a little bit of a break. So, um, Robert and Lily's house, I think is pretty much the same. Um, I finally got a recipe for this lamp. I was waiting on it for quite a while, so I'm, I'm happy I have it now. Um, I think their place is pretty much the same. They've got their little frog and their tadpole friends, which is slightly creepy, but also funny. So I keep it around for comedic about comedic value even though it's kind of scary <laughs> when you think about it but yeah this is their place they have their nice pond area because they're frogs and they need their water so they've got lots of water to be happy and a little a little froggy froggy pond thing what, what is this called completely forgotten what this is called the outdoor bath um I feel like it maybe looks better that way, but then you can't read the sign. We'll, we'll keep it that way. It's fine. <laughs> Suddenly re redecorating out of nowhere. We have another little pond here. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this tree and you know what I really want? I want the recipe for the moon chair, which is like, it has to be the most popular craftable item, right? The, the moon seat, because I don't have it. I think that would look really nice there. I think that'd be good. So um, down here, I think same as always, um, my rock garden replaced it with the bushes of choice right now, which is the hibiscus flowers. So there's some hibiscus shoots around here. Coming down to the museum and Roxy's house again. I think it's pretty much the same over here. Roxy has mail. I cannot steal Roxy's mail, much to my disappointment. Um, I'll have to log on as her and, and check it. I think what it is actually is, um, I had a CJ the other day, so I think it's a fish model waiting for me. Um, Roxy's doing good, she's sleeping right now. She's sleeping um, here, you won't be able to see, but like, this is like an Ikea shelving unit and you can buy cat beds that are square and fit in the shelving unit and she's using it today for the first time like ever. <laughs> Cause you know when you get something for your cat and you're like, wow, they'll love this. And then they're like, okay. And then they don't use it. It was one of those situations, but she's actually using it now, which is good. So she's doing well. Here we have the park. The park is the same. I desperately need, um, more blue pansies so I can put blue pansies next to the blue tires. See, I'm I'm smart. I'm doing the theming. It's all gonna make sense <laughs> when it's eventually done. Um the park is is still kind of work in progress. And over here we have Dizzy and Tammy's house. Where is Tammy? Nobody knows. Oh, I bet she's in the museum. Oh we'll go check the museum. She, she has to be in there, right? She's nowhere else. Um, so yeah, this is their little blue and yellow houses. They look kind of cute together. Which takes us down to the fishing zone, TM. <laughs> the fishing zone where you can like go diving and fishing and stuff. And I think, I think that's about everything in terms of the tour. I changed these little areas here because initially I had this little raised up part of the ground at, at the front here and I didn't think it looked very good. So I've now changed it and I think this looks a little bit better. And I've got some more in season shrubs as well, which is good. Look at these three. Oh my gosh. They've all got different colors. <laughs> they are so pure and wholesome and I love them. There he goes again. Man, what a gang. They're all like my small villagers as well. They're all the teeny tiny ones. Like if Whitney walked past here, she'd be huge. She'd just be like towering over them. Oh, that's funny. All right then, well, 
I suppose we better go look for Tammy. The only way she could make it up to me <laughs> is if she gave me her photo. But I don't think I'll be getting two photos in the same day. Interestingly, when I got my first batch of photos, I literally got them on consecutive days. So maybe there is something in that. Maybe they can maybe you can't get more than one photo a day. Or maybe it was just complete coincidence. Because I got, I think, three or four. <laughs> three or four in a row. Here you are, you little monster. What are you doing in here? I'm trying to give you stuff. Wonder where, where, where she's going. Oh. You looking over here? She's looking at the um the fishy fossil. <laughs> She's so unimpressed. <laughs> yeah, I donated all the fossils, you dummy. How do you think they got here? Um Oh no. I need to give you something. Can you not look at that for a second? Yeah, hi, it's me. I have a gift for you. <laughs> I have a gift for you. It's um, an iron wall lamp made by my own fair hands. Yeah, you like that? You gonna give me your photo? <laughs> oh, she's happy though. A pink heart pattern wall. I mean, that's cute. It's wallpaper. That is like a, a top tier gift. Thanks, Tammy. I can't believe you made me come all the way out to the museum to give this to you, but needs must. Tammy is very, um, particular. <laughs> she, she always seems to manage to cause trouble, no matter what the situation. There's just, it's always Tammy. Like if something's going wrong or you can't find someone, it's, it's Tammy. Um... Cool, I have some unwanted gifts, I guess. What I do need to do is go to a Nook Mile ticket island for the day. Something that I've been doing daily to try and rack up Dodo airline points to get all of the items. Because I think I've gotten like five items or so, but there's quite a lot. And you get points for visiting other people's towns or doing the Nook Mile stuff, so I've just been doing one island visit a day because I have so many tickets and I have so many points saved up. I think I have like 200k at the moment. So I've still got plenty for when I want to go looking for specific villagers. So I may as well just do this. So at least I'm getting a point a day. One whole point a day. Oh, I should have wrapped my lamps. <laughs> Just realized that I gave them all to my animals and I didn't wrap them. Oh well. Hey, I still got Sid's photo. Sid doesn't didn't care. He was just like, oh heck yeah. He was very happy with that one. Oh. It's the island that's like up. Interesting. Let me just check for a bottle or a fossil. Oh, look at these. Look at the- look at how many fish there are here! That's absurd! That's so many! Maybe it'll be a king salmon. King salmon plus? No! The normal salmon. These are the most important months in um... In Animal Crossing, you've got June for the Firefly, and then you've got September for the Salmons. Oh, what the heck, dude? Don't, don't turn around. <laughs> Come on. Oh, straight away. First bite. Dang it. Stupid regular salmon. I have already caught a King Salmon, but I need more for my collection so I can make models. So I am still on the lookout for the king salmons. Do we have a message in a bottle, perchance? I don't see one. I guess I'll have a climb up here. Man, this would be a good island for um, catching stringfish, you know? 
This is like the ideal spot. Man, trying to catch stringfish like at the beginning of the game was the absolute worst. <laughs> like nobody was happy about that. They were such a huge pain. Because I hadn't unlocked terraforming at that point, so it was just, well, you gotta work with what you what you were given or find an island that's good enough for it, but Oh, you know what I should do actually? I should shake the trees for um for a furniture. Hope for something good. Something I don't have yet would be ideal. Who is best boy in Persona 5? Um Who is best boy in Persona 5? I mean it's gotta be Yusuke, right? <laughs> it's gotta be. Now uh, where's my um where's my furniture? I got wasped immediately. Where's my my good furnitures? You know what I'm actually missing quite a lot of is the cute set, but um, color variants that I don't have. And these are all pear trees. We're not gonna get any furniture from pear trees. The heck is this? What a dumb island. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just good for fishing and that's it. Well, there goes my hopes and dreams of having a mint green, sky blue, cute chair. That's my dream at the moment. I desperately want to get all the cute chairs in all of the colours. Like, I shook these trees, right? What? Huh, interesting. I do have the flashy flower sign, but I think it comes in different colours, so we'll have to go back and check that one. I'm ready to go home. Yes. Alright, good. Kurt would be glad to take those salmon off your hands? Yeah. Well, I have teddy bears. I have Chester and Tammy. They'd like some salmon. Oh man, Kurt's another good cranky villager. He has like a bandage on the back of his head, right? Is that Kurt? He's like grey. I think I'm thinking of the right animal. <laughs> These three are still at it, my small friends. <laughs> like, look at how small they are. At least Marshall's not wearing his jester shirt. Usually he likes to be a, a doofus and wear his jester shirt. He was giving me the eye there, did you see that? He knew I was bad mouthing him. Um, what does this look like? Oh, I have this one. I have that one, that's okay though. Let me go sell some stuff. Sell some bits and bobs. All my unwanted gifts. I was gonna say I better not sell Sid's photo, but I put it in front of his house, so it's safe. <laughs> it's safe from my twitchy trigger finger when it comes to selling items. Um, let me see. I don't need these. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need stones. I will keep the clay. Get rid of all this. I need the turtle. And I don't need that. Um, I think I'm saving coddle for some kind of recipe, so I'll hold on to the coddle. 10,000 bells. Thank you, boys. See you later. Man, I love their little autumn-themed shop. So cool. Those pumpkins, though. Man, that'd be such a good item. Give me these pumpkins. I want to make a, a garden. <laughs> I want to make a pumpkin garden. All right, let me run around here. Desperately run. I got this. Um, I got this veil from Gulliver, and all I can think of when I see this veil is um, Link in Breath of the Wild with his Gerudo outfit, with his lady outfit to get into the town. <laughs> That's all I think of when I see that veil. Pretty good. All right, inventory management, the video game. You need to go in storage. You need to go in storage. Um, 
I'll keep these on me because I need to make some more lamps and I need to remember to wrap them tomorrow. That would be ideal. Man, look at all this crap that I have. <laughs> I have 1500 out of 1600 uh, storage used. <sighs> Actually, seeing this mermaid furniture has just reminded me that I need to go and find Pascal for today, which is a joy. Hopefully I'll be able to find him quickly. <laughs> we'll see. See, I got rid of all of my clothes so that I was only left with things that I craft or items that are like um, event stuff. So rip all of my cute outfits except for the eight that I have in my wand. <laughs> Feels kind of bad, but hey ho. And this is all my loot from the, the fireworks festival. And then just all the standard crafting nonsense that I have. I have a few pine cones. I think I'm out of acorns though. And I've still got some seasonal stuff to craft, so I'm going to have to go and shake more trees. Um, yeah, I still need to make the campfire, the lamp. This is cute, the little mobile. And the tree as well. Some really cute little pieces of furniture. Um, Alright then, we'll go and do Pascal. Ugh. <laughs> The past couple days he's actually been pretty good to me. He's given me two recipes in the last two days in a row. Because he was giving me um, just pearls non-stop and I was getting really angry and I was like, give me the recipes, I have so many pearls. So it was nice to finally get some, some good recipes. Alright. Fortunately you cannot put the wetsuit on over a wand outfit so you have to take your wand outfit off and then suit up. It also means you can't have a suit as part of an outfit. Which I kind of understand, but at the same time it's like, eh. It's just kind of inconvenient. <laughs> Nana's really interested in the seaweed. <laughs> oh dear. She's cute. Too many good normal villagers, man. I would absolutely have a town full of normal villagers. Without question. Hey, Dizzy's changed back into his t-shirt. He must have heard me. He must have been like, oh no, she doesn't like my, my jacket. Better change back. Oh. I see bubbles. <laughs> Pearls? What about the diamonds? And platinum? I don't know, man. Oh hey, it's a shrimp. Whoa, this is a new thing. A sweet shrimp. It's been very considerate. That was actually a new creature for me. Amazing. I don't think I've done much diving at night, so anything I'm missing will probably be a nighttime dive. That's good though. What are you? Another new one. A flatworm. <laughs> oh, that pun really got me. Yes, I forgot his spear worm. Oh my god, that is so bad. I love it. <laughs> oh, that one really tickled me. Oh, that was good. I enjoyed that very much. <laughs> oh, what a, what a good diving trip this has been so far. Oh, definitely got you. Oh, that was great. So I'm looking for a scallop. This will not be a scallop because it's too many bubbles, which means it's something big. I tend to die for stuff anyway. I don't know about anyone else, but I just I just die for everything at this point. Anemone. Gosh, I think um, like I was saying, the past few days I've been pretty lucky with finding Pascal within like ten catches, so I'm fully expecting to not find him and have to end the stream being like, oh well, we never found him. So, fingers crossed we find him in the next 10 minutes and if we don't then we won't see a Pascal this stream, which will be very sad. So um, in other September news, it will be the last bug off for the Northern Hemisphere. 
So if you've been collecting the stamps like I have, you'll finally be able to finish your card with the final bug off. And I managed to get the gold trophy and all the furniture items, so that's great. That is completioned. I would like to get more, um, one of the furniture items you can get from the bug off is like a cobweb, a spider web. And it looks really cool and you could make some like really spooky rooms with it. And I'd like to collect some more cobwebs so I can make a spooky like basement or something just covered in cobwebs. I think that would be a nice aesthetic. So my one goal for the next bug off is to compete so I can get my stamp. And then also to get as many points as I can be bothered to get so that I can grab myself hopefully some more cobwebs. That would be real nice. This is not a scallop game. This is not the thing. I think this might be too many bubbles, but we'll go for it anyway. Oh, it's moving. It's probably an octopus. Oh, <gasps> Pascal. Oh, that was a good one. Man, he's been really good to me these past few days. Hey man, how's it going? You can absolutely have this. You're welcome. Let's see what deep truths he has for us today. <laughs> Hopefully he's giving me a recipe, that would be perfect. All right, here we go. Tide pools are just timeshares for tiny fish. Well, <laughs> I guess I feel truthed. Thanks. Thanks, bud. We're gonna get to watch you eat it. Hey, there he is. Let's follow him until he has his, his noms. <laughs> I love that he's wearing a knit hat in the water. Can you imagine how heavy that would be on your head? You gonna crack it open? <laughs> he's looking at me. You gonna do it? Anytime now, you're reaching the very corner of the map. If you're gonna do it, now's absolutely the time to do it. Okay, he's he's turned. <laughs> he's now going down the way. <gasps> he's doing it. Nom nom nom. Oh yeah. All right, well, you're welcome, Pascal. I hope that was nice for you. And I really hope you've given me some furniture or some clothing instead of a pearl because I have like 12 pearls at home and I need more recipes. <laughs> Desperately need more recipes. I'm gonna check as soon as we get on dry land here. Uh, okay, well I suppose I did get two recipes the past two days, so I can't be too mad. Only slightly mad. Only a small percentage of mad. Oh well. Um, I guess we can go sell these extra sea creatures though. Find that it's actually a, a really good way of making money. They seem to sell for an awful lot of bells. So if you feel like diving, it's definitely a good one. Um, oh yeah, I got two new things. Let's take a look-see. The sweet shrimp. And the flatworm. You were available in August and I didn't find you? Gosh. <laughs> well, I found you now. Nice. I, I, I feel better at least I got a couple of new things. It made it, it worthwhile. I have to go give them to Blathers. So let me not accidentally sell them. Let me concentrate here. So I need you and I need you. And then everything else can go. Everything must go. Except for the things that mustn't. That was 7,000 bells. Like what did I catch there that was so good? Let me just... <laughs> reorganize my inventory inventory management the game is absolutely how i play everything <laughs> so please forgive me all right 
Let me go donate these to my main man, Blathers. He'll be awake now because it's evening. Usually I have to wake him up, you know? Hey, dude. I have treats for you today. Not even bugs. Like, you're going to be genuinely happy about this. It's, um, two little teeny weeny sea creatures. Enjoy. Thank you. Alright, sweet. How very productive. That was really good. Um, let me go and check. So here are my numbers. I'm not completely up to date with catches, but I have 74 fish, 78 bugs, and 28 sea creatures. So we're definitely getting there. Um, like I was saying, where are we? Where are we? Bug off. Final bug off this month. So that'll be nice. And then we'll get back to fishing journeys, which is exciting. And aside from that, um, I don't think there's any... I've been working on birthdays. I've actually had quite a few of my islanders have birthdays. It's just worked out quite well for me. So the stamps are still um, work in progresses for sure. It looks like Dizzy and Tammy have both gone home. Interesting. All right, well, I think that's... Um, we're coming up on covering just about everything I've wanted to today. Are these three still... <laughs> these three are still out here with their sparklers being cute. I should try and take a nice photo. Watch, they're all gonna stop now that I've decided to take a photo. Should we have a... Should we make it like a dramatic cinematic? <laughs> oh, look at that. That's crazy. Should we do a big, a huge zoom? No, that's too much soon. Gotta get the town hall. Okay, are you ready? Well, they won't look at me though, will they? No. Here we go. <laughs> that's quite a nice photo. Man, these three are so cute. <laughs> I love it. Alright, so... Oh gosh, I was gonna be like, oh, we'll just finish the front of the house, but the front of the house is like really messy. Let's go somewhere nice and picturesque. In fact, I know exactly where we can go. I know exactly where we can go. And it'll be really nice to end off. Man, I miss having the rock to sit on. Remember when we used to sit on the rock at the end of, of the New Leaf streams? That was really good. See, if I sit here, I can see um, <laughs> Sid's photo in the background. Wait. Wait. There we go. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like he's looking at me. It's like one of those photos where you move and the eyes follow you. Well, today was really good. There's uh, the eight o'clock chime. Um, today was really, really good, actually. We got a couple of new diving creatures, like, unexpectedly, which was nice. We managed to get Sid's photo today. So next time Sid... Um, or next time. When Sid uh, offers to move out, I'm gonna say yes. So if there are any Sid lovers, let me know and we will try and make it work that he can uh, move in, hopefully, with someone. I don't really want to let him go because him being one of the additional eight villagers in New Horizons means he's really hard to get because he doesn't have an amiibo card. So I definitely want to offload him onto somebody else so that they can have fun with him because he was a really nice character to have around. Um, like I said, his design I thought was cool, but like not amazing. But with him having such a deep voice and a love of music, seeing him around my island like singing away to himself was so wholesome and I really liked it. So if you want a, a musical cranky villager, I don't know how many of them there are, but he is he's top tier, so... Yeah, hopefully he can find a good home. Um, but yeah, we're now into autumn, so we'll probably not stream for a couple more weeks. I think there's going to be, like I said, the mushroom furniture will come into season a little bit later. So unless anything crazy happens, like I decide to demolish my whole island, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Um, we'll probably see you in a couple more weeks, just how it's been going recently with Animal Crossing. 
just when something new appears, we'll we'll hop on in and, and take a look around. Yes, Dan, I will send over your workbench um, as soon as I end the stream. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, but yeah, I will say goodbye for now, friends. Thanks for watching. We might do a stream tomorrow because this week's been a bit weird for streaming with me. Um, so we might do a Xenoblade tomorrow. If not tomorrow, Tuesday, I think. Just because um, I had to kind of cancel a couple streams this week because I wasn't feeling like great. So it'd be nice to catch up with Xenoblade again and try and wrap up Torna hopefully next week and then we can move on to another big, big game which will either be um, possibly starting Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition or doing a blind playthrough of Danganronpa V3 which I think is leading in my head at the moment. If I can set it up and it works fine, because I have the Vita version, so I'd have to set up the PlayStation TV, which is notorious for being like really complex to record from. Um, we might be playing some Danganronpa soon. We'll see. For right now, we need to finish up Torna. So a little ways off, but just, just, some, just some thoughts. Just just letting some thoughts escape from my mouth so that it's not in my brain. <laughs> so yes, I will say goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon for some more Xenoblade. So look forward to that. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.